Okay, this is our um, hotel. This is where we are at the moment. Baton Rouge in Vilsam. I'm going to take you for a, a small walk around to show you the area. It's, uh, hang on, I'll turn you around to say good morning, okay? Good morning, enjoying this. I've got some steps to walk up. So, there we are, this is the place here. In Beal Sam. And uh, there's a car coming here. Anyway, walk down the steps. I'll take you round to have a look at the garden. I've been here a few times now, I don't know, five or six. So uh, I quite enjoy it here. I'm going to go down the staircase. You have to be careful at my age, you know. I think he's had better days. Better times, eh? So, there was the breakfast place. I'll breakfast in there in a minute. Alright, just have a look at the... Uh, the pond and everything. Oh, grass is quite long. We saw some ducks on here the, yesterday. This fella's been here for years. But, um, yeah. All very nice. And that's a fire pit. If you come here on a weekend, on Saturday night, say, have a, a big bonfire there and a barbecue, which is all very nice. I have to say, it's a little bit chilly today. Oh. So, ah, there's a stream there. An old ruin in there. So, that is the place. Apparently it used to be an old brewery. And parts of that building are 400 years old. It's all very good. So, anyway, we should have a look inside now. to show you what's uh, what's occurring breakfast here is only a, like a continental breakfast you know ham cheese a croissant gorgeous coffee and uh, you should have a look inside that's the bar La Verde motorcycle and this, this fella here he's had better days as well but, uh, yeah okay we're a bit early at the moment be coming down for breakfast shortly I'll go and uh, show you now back up the stairs. Uh, 
and uh, look at this fella see didn't keep its cool lost his head be cool man be cool so let's see what's back up the stairs Honestly, the roads around here, around this area, in the Belgian Ardennes, are absolutely gorgeous. Most of them are smooth. You do get a, the odd rough area. But, um, oh, it's great if you've got a bike. Let's see if Tim is decent. Tim? Oh, no, he's not there still in the shower so that's our room got an ensuite there there's a, a mezzanine level up there which we're not using Tim's bed my bed we had to move the beds apart because they were pushed together I, I don't know Tim's a bit into spooning so I'm not uh, I was a bit nervous <laughs> So, you know, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll take you up to have a look at the bikes. I'll show you where the bikes are now. So it's all very secure. Yeah. Magazines in English. This is um, more rooms up here. These are toilets. You got showers in there. So up the stairs here, more stairs. It's an old building, and we have uh, the garage. At the moment, there's a couple of Dutch guys staying here as well. You get a lot of uh, a lot of Dutch people here. Ben and Hetty are Dutch so uh, oh look at that there's a fine sight up there eh? great badge <laughs> I seem to have less and less hair every time I look at myself so there she is look the mighty triumph And uh, also, if you're lucky, you might get a you might get a sticker and a Baton Rouge. Tim's V strong. But, uh, yeah. So when they're packed out, this bike, this garage is full of bikes. You're dead secure. The road is the other side of that. And, uh, oh my gosh, I didn't notice the old whatever that is up there. Some sort of gull. And uh, this is what happens if you don't pay. I think you get hung up on there. Hmm. So they like their Laverdas here. There's uh, one silver one at the back there, if you can see it at the back. And there's another one here, 1200. And one downstairs in the, in the uh, breakfast room, come bar. Anyway, there you are. That's it. Yeah. Baton Rouge, Veal Sam in the Belgian Ardennes very nice right today is a day after Nürburgring and now we find ourselves in Luxembourg I actually don't know the name of this road right, Tim do you know the name of this road? N10 November 10 is the name of the road so uh, very very nice 
I didn't have the camera on, I've just stopped to put the camera on now. I hope we haven't passed the best bit. It's a nice river down there. Basically we've dropped down quite a, quite a few metres from the top down to the bottom and all like corkscrew and all that. It's, it's been quite epic. The only, uh, oh, tight bend. The only um, thing is that the road, I think, has been resurfaced and it's a little bit loose with the, uh, the chippings. Not this bit by here, but back there. Anyway, just look how gorgeous it is. Luxembourg. I can't understand why I, I haven't seen any more um, YouTube videos of the Ardennes in Belgium, uh, Belgium and uh, Luxembourg. Oh, another tightening up of it. Not too bad. So we're looking for uh, somewhere to stop now for a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Good luck on the tea out here. It's not tea as we know it. There's Tim there, like in the mirror. I really am like a like a kid in a sweet shop here. Absolutely love these roads. And look at it, they're empty. Or relatively empty. There's a few cars that come along, but not too many. Yeah, yeah, nice big twisty bit coming up now. Oh. Loving the blipper on this Triumph. Oh, it would help if I got my speed right. Just look at it. I'm glad there's nothing coming, otherwise it would take my head off. Look at the valley. Absolutely gorgeous. See on the sat nav there how uh, how windy this road is. Oh, how nice is it, it is to get off the beaten track. My God, are people living in there? Yeah, like big wooden sheds. <laughs> okay. uh, Tim suggested that we uh, we stop here. We've just passed uh, all those electricity pylons for uh, like a hydro power station in the mountain absolutely incredible so now we've stopped just to admire the view that's a church up there is it or a house I don't know this is certainly a part of Luxembourg that um, I've never been to before. Let's have a look. Oh. 1960, 1959. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I 
almost a dozen houses, the church and even a cemetery had to give way to progress. That is to say, the floods of the reservoir. Uh, wow. So it's not only Wales it happens in. Well, we have to have clean water and drinking water. Okay, catch you in a bit. So, there we are. We've just... Uh, oh, that's the end of that reservoir. Go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What a place. I know I'm gushing about this, but I never expected to Luxembourg to be like this. Perhaps I should have known better. Yeah. Wow. Right. I just switched the camera off and no need to come around the corner when we see this old castle. It's a pity you probably can't see it on the camera. Well, you can see it, but not in, uh, not in detail. Ah, I see we've got a bit of blue sky as well. Wow. There's a set of chair, yeah, chairlift. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <sighs> Look at that. The old, uh, <laughs> They're not waving to me. <laughs> Two girls on the uh, cable car there, I was waving to them and they're just pretending not to see me. Ah, oh. well hopefully there'll be a little coffee place. Problem we've been having is um, every time we see a, a cafe or a restaurant, or something like this one it's closed I suppose it is only 20 past 11 on a Wednesday morning oh. yeah right we're gonna get some fuel oh right and I left Oh, and a right. Just look at the view. I, mean, I swear you can see all the way across to Germany. Ooh. <laughs> Well, Luxembourg certainly delivers once you get out of the traffic, of course. What goes up must come down. Ernster. Here we are, we're in Ernster. We're actually looking for a cafe here. We've been looking for a cafe for at least 45 minutes. We're not actually finding one. Some nice little hairpins here. Oh my god. Do you know I... Yeah. Mini Stel... Uh, the Mini Stelvio. So, we're using that... We're... Ah. 
We're following uh, a route that was given to us by the hotel. And I think that was like the mini Stelvio, she said. Oh my freaking God. Tight bend. Just look at it here. Absolutely beautiful. Lots of bends. It's a car, a bus, bus, bus. Wow. Car. This really is a gorgeous area. See the um, Luxembourg flag on the top of the castle. Oh, wow. I really would recommend anybody to come here on a biking holiday. This is awesome. This might have been what she called mini Switzerland as well, I don't know. Ma nice Mustang here. Five, five litre. I'm glad he's turning right. So... Okay, okay, yeah. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, bum, 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 bum. So I mustn't make noises, I'm doing the YouTube bit, bit here. Do not make noises. Oh. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm gonna pull over here, mate. Peace and quiet. <laughs> oh, all these really nice little villages. Epic roads, great road surfaces. This bike really sounds quite different from the uh, 1050 I had. When it's under hard acceleration, I, well they say it sounds like a, 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 a twin, but I don't know, to me it's, yeah, it sounds a bit like, like a V4 even or something, I don't know. It's just, it's just not loud enough. I can hear it, but nothing comes out on the camera. Uh, oh, lovely. Look at these roads. It reminds me of the, the uh, VFR I had with the VTEC. Um, 
kicking in a little bit like, you know it, it sort of yeah Top of the world. Ah. Oh, what, oh, what, oh, what? Oh. No, we should have gone left here. Oh, my, they just increased. I got 38 now on to Ben and Hetty's. Well, it says, put up there. Yeah, yeah, mine says turn right, yeah. But, but it makes sense, that's gone round in a big circle. Yeah. 